Well, well, good morning, everyone, and welcome here to our 28th Annual Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic. This morning on the south side of the show ring, we have our Shorthorn Show. Again, we want to recognize our students from Southeast Community College. They're helping us all week here at the Classic. At this time, it's my honor to introduce our judge, or our president of the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic Board of Directors, is Mr. Dave Gertz. Dave is a Hereford breeder from Berwyn, Nebraska, and I'm going to turn it over to him, and he'll introduce your judge this morning. Yeah, thank you, Ronette. Uh, looking forward to another nice day. I want to introduce uh, Kevin Jensen to the uh, Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic. He's going to be our judge on the Shorthorns today. Kevin and Sheila operate a polled Hereford operation at uh, just south of Concordia at Cortland, Kansas. Uh, welcome him here today. Well, good morning. A very nice set of spring heifer calves here in the Shorthorn Show and Sale. And I think as I lined them up here, the heifer that wins will be the one to the east. She's just a complete kind of female. She has some muscle and some ruggedness to her, like the power and the width and the substance that she has, and just a very neat-looking kind of a female. The heifer in second is one that kind of tells you that uh, there's some future in her. She's a little greener than the heifer that wins the class. I think that might be a good thing if you're looking for a show heifer because she's got some future to her. I like her look, I like her length, I like the way she gets her neck up out of her shoulder. Just a lot of look to her and I think a lot of future to her when you look at this heifer because of her, because of the fact that she is a little gleaner. The thing that I see about this heifer in third that's different than the first two is the muscle that she shows. When you look at her hip down through her stifle, you see some real power and some muscle. Here's a heifer that if you're looking for a breeding female and you want to add some muscle, this heifer has it.
Well, good morning, everybody. We'd like to welcome you to this morning's show. We started out here in the South Arena. In Class 1, first we'll go to Lot 11, Bar S Cattle Company. Second to Lot 9, Crawford Family Shorthorns. And third to Lot 10, HK Shorthorns. Your champion Shorthorn Heifer then will be Lot 11. And your reserve Shorthorn Heifer is Lot number 9. Ready for Class number 2. These are both Aprils, April 2nd and April 6th. We want to remind all of our juniors of the opportunities here at the Classic with purchasing a heifer today and any of the sales tomorrow yet. Be a part of our Classic Premier Heifer class. It'll be here tomorrow night. Show them on Sunday in the Junior Show. Show them this summer, and you have the opportunity to enroll in a tour, record books, and have the opportunity to get $12,000 back that the Classic awards to the boys and girls. And you don't have to be in high school to be a part of this program, so make sure you're checking out the Classic Heifer Reward programs. Well, again, in the composite uh, shorthorn uh, show, uh, these heifers are more alike than they are different as you look at them. Both heifers have some things about them that tell you they have some future, and most of that is the conditioner in. They're just lean enough that I think you're going to really appreciate how these heifers feed for you. The heifer that leads off the class, uh, if you're looking for a heifer that'll show, it's her. Boy, she's attractive, and she's got a nice neck and head where it comes up out of her shoulder. Very pleasing in her hip. I think this heifer will just get nothing but better as she progresses. I think if you're looking for a show heifer, this heifer has a lot of look and a lot of quality to her. And I, know, I think the same holds true with our heifer in second. I think as you look at her, as I said, she's more like our heifer in first than she is different. She's very, very neat, very attractive, very feminine up through her neck and head. I like the way she gets her neck up out of her shoulder and alertness that she shows. Two very nice heifers in this division. Results of class two, we lot three, Stephen McIntyre, and in second, lot two, Donahue Shorthorns. Your champion Shorthorn plus female will be lot number three, and your reserve Shorthorn plus female is lot two. Now for the selection of our champion Shorthorn female.
Well, let's put our hands together and thank these breeders and exhibitors for bringing us a nice group of heifer calves. In this sale, I think you've got uh, obviously four heifers that have a lot of future to them. And regardless uh, of how I judge them, it's what you need for your program and what works best for you, the buyers. I think as you look at the heifers, there, as, as I said in one of the classes, they're more alike than they are different. I think we have some differences in, in how the heifers have been fed is morally more different than how the heifers are physically. I think in, in, the, in these particular shows and sales, I think the buyers are... It's a it's a good buyer climate, as I should say. I think you've got cattle here that you can take home and bring home and be very proud of because of the quality that they have. A lot of times we don't realize the effort it takes from these breeders and exhibitors to get these cattle broke and exhibited. And that part is already done, where in most sales you go buy a replacement heifer or heifer. Uh, they've never had a halter on them. So there's there's some time and some expense that's involved in showing these cattle and bringing them to you here to the Classic. And of our two champions, our shorthorn purebred heifer is really stout in her makeup. You like the fleshing ability that she has, the look that she gives you, the hip that she has. That heifer has some strength about her. She'll make you some herd bulls if you're wanting to take her home and make a mama cow out of her. The black heifer that wins the composite part of the show, very neat, very attractive. She has an advantage, it's just in her look structurally. I think you have to like the way she's made and the way she gets her length up through her front end, the hip that she has in her. Now, she's leaner. She doesn't have the condition on her, so here's a heifer that can go. And, and I think, is more importantly, when you're in these type of situations and looking at heifers, uh, you want ones that you can feed and tend to, and this heifer's one of those, and I think she'll feed very, very well. Our reserves are very useful. Our reserve purebred shorthorn heifer has a lot of look. I, I really contemplated switching those two. That's the kind of heifer that she is. Very neat, very attractive. I like her way in the put together that she has in a very complete kind of a package. Our reserve black heifer, a very good female again. Again, as I just said just minutes ago, her length and the more like the heifer that wins and she is different. A lot of future to her. Good luck to these, to the, to the consigners as well as you buyers. Study your lesson. Go talk to the breeders. Find the heifers that work for you and I wish them all a good sale. Your black heifer will be your champion. The purebred shorthorn will be reserved. Give them a round of applause. And congratulations, our champion shorthorn female is lot number three, Stephen McIntyre, and our reserve shorthorn female is lot 11, Bar S Cattle Company. We're going to move on to the bulls. We have class three, lot number four, born February 7th. Well, thank you. Prina, Aligari, Aurora Co-op, Platte Valley Auto, and Cunningham Journal for your sponsorship as our cornerstones of this year's Cattlemen's Classic. Just a reminder, our Shorthorns and Shorthorn Plus show will now sell at 1 o'clock. The sale is set for 1 o'clock this afternoon. Look forward to seeing many of you in the seats. But we'll move on now to our bulls. Well, we've brought both bulls in from class three and class four. Lot four again born February 7th. Lot one is January 18th.
Well, just a month or month and a half age difference in these two bulls, and you can see some differences in these two, but I, I really think there's some quality in both. This, this champion shorthorn bull has a tremendous amount of look to him. You can probably drive quite a few miles and not find one that has this kind of ruggedness, this kind of muscle. Still pretty good on his feet and legs. Uh, there's a lot of quality in this young bull. I like this roan bull quite a bit. I think he has some future. I'm going to say he's going to be very competitive tonight in the Supreme with this kind of muscle and this kind of look and this kind of soundness. I like a lot of things about him quite well. The reserve bull is a, is a bigger frame, longer, taller kind of a bull. And if you're looking for a bull that'll have some stretch, this calf is do it. Uh, with that, though, he's, he, even though he's leaner than the bull that's going to be champion, he's really sound, much like the bull that wins. Just extremely sound in the way he moves. I like him for that. If you're wanting a bull that'll correct some structure, lengthen them out, put some look in them, this calf will do that. Two different kinds of bulls, both have some quality about them. Congratulations. And congratulations, your champion shorthorn bull is lot number one, Crawford Family Shorthorns. Your reserved shorthorn bull is lot four, Curtis Genetics. Just a reminder, these shorthorns will sell at 1 o'clock this afternoon. We'll be back in the ring, 10 o'clock for the mains.
Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming out here to the Classic. And we know Mother Nature's forecast has everybody's attention. And so we thank you for taking the time to come in. And we've got a great lineup of cattle here today, a lot of events and activities that are going to go on for the youth. And we're just going to plunge forward. So we're all going to work together through this. At this time, we're proud to start our May and Andrew show here at the 28th Annual Classic. And at this time, I'm going to introduce again the president of the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic Board of Directors, Mr. Dave Gertz. Dave is a Hereford breeder from Berwyn, Nebraska. Thank you, Ronette. I uh, just want to welcome everybody here for the main show. Uh, your judge today is Kevin Jensen. Kevin and Sheila run a polled Hereford operation in northern Kansas at Cortland, Kansas. I uh, want to welcome him here today. And welcome. Our first class will be class one, lot 12, April 18th. Well, a very nice heifer here to be in the main maintainer show and sale. Uh, if you're looking for a female that has some growth, has some look, has some muscle, I think you'll have her right here. Uh, study your pedigree, see if she works for you. This female has got a lot of quality to her. When you look at the way she's made up through her front, look out her top line, the way she moves, her hip, very pleasant to the ground on all four feet and legs. It's a good female. With what I like is the performance that she shows us. Let's wish him a good luck in the sale. This is a nice heifer. Let's give him a round of applause. Very nice female. Set to enter the ring in class two, there will be two females in this class, lot 11 and lot 10, born from March 8th to March 11th. In class one, lot 12 will be your first place heifer, Triple H show cattle.
Well, again, this pair of maintainer March spring yearling or spring heifer calves, uh, they're, they're different, but they both have a lot of things about them you like. Uh, the black heifer that leads off the class, um, I like her look. I like the cow look that she gives us, extremely long-bodied. She's not as sharp-fronted as the heifer that's in second. She's real broody up through her front and makes me tend to think she's going to make a very good, useful kind of a cow, like the way she gets around the ring, like her presence, just a very nice female. If you're looking for a heifer that's more moderate frame, that's really neat and attractive up through her front, it's this heifer in second. You get around behind her, and she's got some natural width to base as well. A little different kind of heifer than the heifer that wins the class, but real quality in both heifers. Your results of class two, first will go to lot 10, WL Cattle, and second to lot 11, Stephen McIntyre. We have got class three ready to come in the ring. This is lot nine, born February 22nd. Well, a very nice way to complete our three classes of maintainer heifers. Uh, this heifer has a lot of look and a lot of substance to her. She's strong in her makeup. She has some strength in her skull. I like that about her. I like the power and the presence that she has. I like the foot that she has under her as well. Good, useful kind of female that has some show look, some strength look. A good female, uh, again, a very nice female to complete her classes. We're set to bring in to make the selection of your champion main heifer calf class and results of that uh, class three will go to lot nine bar s cattle again now selection of your champion reserve champion main heifer calf
Well, once again, when we get these four females out here, it looks to me like you're going to have an offering that, that most anybody could find one that you'd like. And let's show them appreciation with a hand, a round of applause for bringing you these really nice maintainer heifers. You know, there's a lot of time and a lot of expense and a lot of work put into bringing these heifers in front of you, and a lot of the footwork is done if you're interested in buying them. These are nice cattle that are structurally very good, that have some look, and they're going to vary a bit in their EPDs. They're going to vary a bit in their, in their profile. They're going to vary a bit in their, in their pedigrees. So study what works for you. Go talk to these breeders. Find the cattle that will work for you. They're nice cattle, and I'm sure there's one here that will fit your bill. The heifer calf uh, wins the first division or first class, as I talked about her. There's some performance in her. You have to like that. There's some muscle in her. I like that look that she gives you, and with the fact that she has some growth along with the muscle that she has makes her a, a nice package, in my opinion. A real broody female that wins class two. I think that's her major advantage is just the broodiness that she shows. She does get around the ring very well, really massive in her kind. I like the rib that she has, just a good kind of a female. The heifer that was second to her, a little different, a little neater fronted kind of a female that has a real moderate look that's very neat and attractive, especially up through her neck and head. The heifer that wins the class uncontested, the February heifer, uh, she's pretty stout in the way she's put together. I like her foot. I like her hip. I like her length of body. It's a female that's pretty, in my opinion, pretty hard to get around today. The hard part's trying to find which one of these that needs to be reserved. So your February will be champion. Good luck. I think this heifer has a lot of look to her. Bring her out, and I'll pick your reserve. We have one more class of females. This will be your yearling female, class four, lot number six, born March 21st. The results, your champion main heifer calf goes to lot nine, bar S cattle. Reserve champion is lot 10, WL cattle. Again, in the ring now is class four. We will be selecting our champion female after this class. One thing's for sure, this bred heifer is stout and massive, big rib kind of a female. I like the power and the look that she has. She's The young lady says she'll be two in late March and going to calve before that. Those are all very positives when you're looking at this kind of a female. Rugged, stout, but still show ring look. Nice female to win a bred heifer division. Results of class four. First, we'll go to lot six, A.B. Schultz, and we are now set to select our champion main female. Your champion yearling female does go to lot six, Abby Schultz. Again, selection now of your champion main female.
Well, again, let's put our hands together and thank these folks when we bring out our bread and get our champion lineup out here. You know, it's fun when you have this kind of quality. You could legitimately use either one of these two heifers to win and be, and you could justify it, and I think that's what makes it very neat. The, the heifer calf that wins the heifer calf division, she's got some future to her. I like the way she moves. I like her, I like her hip that she has in her, the strength in her skull. She looks like a female that's in a nice condition to go on. If you want to make a show heifer out of her, if you want to just make a cow out of her, you could. She, she can do it all. She has that kind of look. The heifer that wins the bread heifer contest, uh, stout, massive in her kind. If you're looking for a female that'll have, uh, have that kind of power, this heifer has it. Really massive when you get behind her and look down in her hip and stifle. There's some muscle in her, some shape, and then when you look off to her side, there's some look to her as well. She has a neat, attractive look. Going to calve up here at two. Very important, in my opinion. It looks like she's going to be a very desirable-looking young cow. Our reserve uh, calf heifer or heifer calf, uh, as I just talked to her a few minutes ago, this heifer has some look to her. I think as you watch her walk, she has some quality to her. She has the, the, the things that I think it takes to make a brood cow. She's loose and she's made good and just very, very useful in her kind. Study the pedigrees. Go talk to these breeders. These are good cattle. I'm not sure that I can tell you which one that will be the best cow. And, you know, that's what's kind of neat. Uh, study them. You know their pedigrees. I don't. Find the ones that work for you. Let's wish them a good sale with a round of applause. And congratulations, your champion main female is lot number six, Abby Schultz, and the reserve will be lot nine, Bar S Cattle. Time to move on to the boys. Entering the ring now is class six, and this is lot four, born March 9th. Well, the first thing I notice about this youngster when he comes in is how sound he is. Watch how he moves and just everything works right. If you're looking for a bull that can cover a lot of cows, this guy looks like he has that ability. I really like his soundness, like his youthfulness, his levelness of lines. It's a good kind of calf to start the bull show. And congratulations, your winner out of Class 6 is Lot 4 from Curtis Genetics. Class 7 is set to enter the ring. We have two bulls for this class, one born February 1st of 18, the second February 3rd of 18.
Well, both these yearling calves have some very favorable things you can say about each, each one of them. The, the black bull that leads off definitely has that show ring presence, has that look and muscle, and I like that about him. He's very, very youthful, and I like his foot. I think he has a pretty good foot. I like his stifle. I like his muscle. Bull that can transplant some look and some performance as well, a nice calf to start the class. This is a rugged red calf. I like that about him. I like his masculinity. I like his testicle size. And again, when you look at him and watch him walk, here's a bull that looks like he can cover some cows. Very, very important that a bull has that kind of look and have that kind of masculinity. So a nice pair of bulls that are a little contrasting in their look. Here's your results of class seven. First, we'll go to lot number two, double Z cattle, and second to lot three, Bar S Cattle Company. This is your final class. This is class eight, born on the 4th of April of 17. Well, as we complete the show, we have a coming two-year-old uh, main bull that really, as you look at him and study your lesson here, this bull is born, he's working clothes perhaps in the calves, but in all honesty, it's not all bad because here's a bull that can get out and cover the ground work. He's got a very good foot under him. He's got some muscle. He's got the right kind of testicle shape. Think about what he does. I know we could look at him weighing 500 more pounds, and you're going to say, well, he's a heck of a bull. Well, guess what? I'd probably rather turn out this guy than the one that he's counterpart that's chubby. He's born. He's working clothes. You see him for what he is. There's some real muscle in him. He's sound enough. Just a good kind of a bull. Your results of Class 8 will be Lot 1, EMS Enterprises. Time now to select our champion main bull.
Well, once again, let's put our hands together and thank these breeders and exhibitors for bringing you a pretty nice set of bulls. If you came today to, to take a bull home, I'm sure there's one here that'll fit. Uh, there's some quality and structure of these bulls, and I'll quickly talk about them and pick your champion. And uh, I think they all have some things that are very unique about them. The bull calf that wins the first class, as I talked about him, the first thing I noticed about him when he walked in the ring was how sound he was, how he moved. That's a very important part of how a breeding bull works, if he's sound and can move. And I like that about that calf. I think he has some future to him. He's relatively lean, so he's got some go in him. I like that about him, and I like his freshness and the way he moves. The bull that wins the second division, he's a very useful kind of a bull. He's very, very neat and very attractive. Again, he's the one that's got a very complete look to him. He has some muscle shape. I like that about him. I think he's just a very useful, complete bull that has a lot of quality to him. And those are his advantages. The older bull, the coming two-year-old bull, you're looking at him in his working clothes. And to be quite honest with you, if you're wanting a bull to turn out, think about him. He's got muscle. He's got shape. He's not over-conditioned. He's got a good foot under him. He can cover a lot of cows. Very important if you're in the cow business that they can get out and move and cover and breed cows. He can do it. I'll bet money on it. He's lean. He's just a very muscular kind of a neat bull that's much like the two in front of him, just a bit more in his working clothes. The complete one is the bull that wins the middle class. He'll be your champion. We'll bring in the red bull that was reserved to him and pick a reserve. As this Red Bull comes in that was second to our champion, as I commented on him in class how masculine he was and the testicle shape that he has. That's another very important part of being a breeding bull. He may not have the look of the bull that beat him in class, but I tell you what, he's got a lot of the right things. He's masculine. He's good to the ground. I like his testicle shape. Consider him if you're looking for a bull that looks like what he is. Study their pedigrees. Talk to these breeders. The bull calf that wins the first division will be your reserve. Good luck in the sale, and congratulations to all of you. All right, congratulations. Your champion main bull is lot, lot number two, double Z cattle. Your reserve champion will be lot four, Curtis Genetics. Now, these will sell at 130. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, pick up that bidding number out on the front concourse before the sale today. We'll be back here coming up at 11 o'clock for the Keys and the AOBs.
Well, welcome back here to the show ring. And again, we want to thank everybody for coming out here to the 28th Annual Classic. And make sure you're enjoying your day here at the Classic. Visit with the Commercial Trade Show. There's a nice set of commercial vendors and sponsors here on the north side of the ring. And want to remind you guys as prospective buyers, all buyers of all champions are going to get their name in the drawing for Mycogen Seed has a really cool cooler over here, and we'll draw for that tonight. So stop by and visit with all of the vendors. Make sure you're getting registered for a buyer's number. Once you get a buyer's number, it is good the entire time here at the Classic. As well as make sure and stop out. Look at our pin of five heifers here right on the south side of the building. We'll sell those today promptly at 4 o'clock. And I believe Perina Mills is running the videos here at his table. So stop over and check out the video and the sale order at Perina Mills. Again, we want to recognize and introduce the president of the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic Board of Directors, Mr. Dave Gertz. Dave is a Hereford breeder from Berwyn, Nebraska. Yeah, thank you, Ronette. We're going to get started with this next show. I want to introduce the judge to you. He is... Uh, known for the uh, Hereford cattle that he has led through the rings and showed at Denver and throughout the United States. Kevin Jensen and Sheila, they run an operation south at uh, Cortland, Kansas, uh, hold Herefords. So welcome, Kevin. You know, the weather has chased away a lot of our consigners. They, we've had quite a few scratches, and so we uh, really want to thank Kevin for taking the time to come up from Cortland to spend with us today. And unfortunately, in our key show here, we have one female, and she's automatically going to be your champion female, and we'll let Kevin talk about her. But first, I want to recognize to all of our juniors, grandmas and grandpas that are in the house, make sure you're taking a look at all these females that are being featured here at the Classic. Take a look at the show opportunities and the scholarship programs that we offer. Take and buy any of these heifers today or tomorrow during that fancy heifer sale. Show them on Saturday night in the Classic Premier Heifer class. Show them on Sunday in the Junior Show. We've got a lot of prizes for all the boys and girls here get enrolled in our scholarship program, and we give out over $12,000 in scholarships. And you guys don't have to be in high school to be a part of that program. So keep that in mind here at the Classic. We've got a lot of quality cattle coming at you, and with that, I'm going to turn the microphone back over to Kevin Jensen. Well, thank you, Ronette. And, and it's really nice to have a heifer calf like this to, to be your champion you know, we can all see that she's very showy and she's very attractive in the way she gets her nickup out of her head, but it's the, the cow component of her that I really like. When you watch her walk, you see her udder starting to form, you see her foot going to the ground. Uh, pretty nice kind of a female besides the show ring look that she has. She looks like a brood cow to me. Study your lesson here. If you're wanting one that'll show that'll go home and make a cow, I think here she is. I like her rib, I like her volume, but more importantly, I like her soundness. Let's give him a round of applause for his efforts. He's brought you a nice heifer to be your champion key. And that was a single entry for our champion, Kianina Female, Class 1, Lot 3, Bar S Cattle Company. That heifer was a March 2018 heifer. We will now bring in our AOB Female, featuring Lot 1 of Benish Cattle Company. Oh, we're going, we're sorry. I'm sorry. We'll move on over. Apologize to our Kianina Bull we'll bring in. Uh, that's Lot 1 KQM Show Cattle. This features a February 2018 bull.
a lot of times your first impression is what, what, what always puts in your mind of what you think of a, a cow or a calf or a bull. And my first impression of this bull is he's got a lot of muscle. He's very, very sound. He's good-footed. But more than that, he's got some masculinity to him. He's got some strength. He puts some width and some mass and some calves. I like that about him. I, I asked him what he was when he walked around here, just one bull. I thought, why not? And he told me he was sired by Eagle Scout. Well, let me give you a little story about him. That's an older bull. I judged him to be champion in Louisville probably over 10, 12 years ago. So that tells you that his sire has done the test of time. If you're looking for a bull, here's a good one. He's sound. He's stout. He's got some strength in him. He's got some masculinity. He looks like a herd bull. Let's give him a round of applause if you're looking for a herd bull. This guy's got it. Congratulations again to that champion, Canina Bull, Lot 1 KQM Show Cattle with that February 2018 Bull. We will now move into our AOB Female, Lot 1 Benish Cattle Company with a May 2017 Heifer. Well, once again, we're uncontested, but look at her for what she is. She's made very, very well. Here's a coming two-year-old heifer that uh, is just in very nice condition to be a young cow. I like her composition of her body. I like her hip look. I like the stifle that she has. She's got a nice front end as well. You can see her udder starting to form. Here's a female that's bred up, that's going to calve it too, that's very, very nice. Again, let's study our lesson. If you're looking for a nice bred heifer, this one fills the bill. I like her. Let's give her a round of applause. A nice female in her AOB division. Again, that grand champion AOB female, Lot 1, Benish Cattle Company with that May 2017 heifer. That does conclude our shows here today. A reminder that the sales start promptly today at 1 p.m. with that shorthorn sale, 1.30 for the Manan Jew sale, 2 p.m. for the Kianina sale, and 2.30 for the AOB sale.